videoing your dog story now because best thing ever. Funny. My little puppy Mimi. I take her for walks all the time, and she'll see a dog all the way in the distance. She'll go. <laughs> she'll start running over to the dog. One time, a little boy was like holding his dog, and it was a, a decent sized dog, bigger than mine. So my dog's running. I'm going. Err. And then the little boy is trying to like hold on to his dog as it's running towards my dog. He loses the dog, falls. The dog starts running at my dog, and he notices that the dog's not on a leash anymore. My dog goes. <laughs> she runs and jumps up in my arms and I hold her up here like this. See, we've got that little pug. And I took her out in a field once and there was a load of crows. And she was like, and a load of them went, oh shit, dog. But one of them, and then looked back and went, oh, it's a pug. And just stopped and turned. Roxy got to him, put brakes on, like, got this far away from the crow and just went, and then ran back to me like, you didn't see that. You did not see that. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the world of dog ownership. This is what happens when you own dogs. You like the people who have kids. All you do is talk about dogs. You can't sleep really late. Do. You can never sleep in with dogs. Can't sleep Lex in with dogs. Uh, I can because I have one of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go train him with the dog dog. Yeah. We're going to go do gotcha. some chest. What I'm going to do is have my super secret red drink that I've been having every morning. You don't know what this is, do you? No. Just sniff it nice and deep. Yeah. I can already smell the potion. <laughs> yeah. It's not something you want to put in your mouth? It smells like uh, cough medicine. I wanted to show you this because Zach's very unique in the way he warms things up. And we are notorious for not doing things like that. Myself and we don't stretch enough, we don't roll enough. So I'm just going to let Zach talk and do the theory of why he's doing what he's doing here. And we're doing chest today. Ideally, I do this on cables, but literally the dude said that he had 20 minutes to go and um, we didn't have time for that. So we're doing them on a, uh, on a pec deck and we want to focus on going really slow on the way back. So just think about stretching the pec out and keep your shoulder blades retracted and squeeze back and then just squeeze with your chest. So what we're trying to do here is actually switch on the chest. It's kind of like you're giving yourself a minute to get, in, get your head right in what you're training, where you are and actually what you're working. If you jump straight into bench press, you're gonna use a lot of triceps, a lot of front delts. Um, of course, you can use chest, but we really wanna target it as much as we can today. So we're gonna do about three, four sets of this, about eight reps, really focusing on the squeeze, holding it, like almost like an isometric. So I've had a jacked up left shoulder. Yeah. By like doing this super slow, super light, I can feel that left shoulder destabilizing. Yeah. Like shaking. Yeah. Because the load is, you know when you put a heavy load on, on it, it kind of sets it in place. Mm. The weight is keeping you in position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that I'm having to keep myself in the position, I can feel it struggling to sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's making me focus. Yeah, that's what it's all about. To you keep, that, to... keep that shoulder down. You have to switch on a little bit more. So if you have an imbalance, if you have like a weak side or a leaning mm. side, try to give it this a go and you'll feel where that destabilization starts and this will give you the angle to start changing and controlling. We push for time so we just get in and get something done. So yeah, every session that you do when you go places isn't going to be your best, it's not going to be the greatest session in the world. But there's always something you can do, there's always something you can learn and at least you're putting in that work and you're keeping that consistency of still getting in the gym or getting your training done or getting out and doing something active and that's what matters at the end of the day. That long term consistency over time, all those little things remember, little wins over a long period of time create one big change. Good, just thinking about, just thinking about squeezing through here, not okay. pressing. Good, chest, good. That's it, that's it, that's better. So we're stopping just before lock here, so folks can squeezing up through the upper pec and stopping just there. There's no point going too far forward because your triceps and delts are just going to take over. So we're going to keep that active range about there. So yeah. as far down as you can come, squeeze up to three quarters. Alright guys, so this is what a shredded tricep looks like. <laughs> <laughs> See what he's doing here guys, he's squeezing up through the chest. We're not thinking about just moving weight, he's thinking about squeezing and driving through his upper pecs. Do a pause at the bottom, squeezing through the top. Good. That balls at the bottom is where the work work. Let it stretch. But don't overstretch. So you're holding here and not going yeah, here. That's it. Where's holding it here. Keeping that range of motion. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Helps if you have your training partner just to, like, to touch you as well. The mind muscle. It's like, oh, obviously like a lot harder all of a sudden. Is it more? Yep. Good, man. Ah. Push up. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Chest up.
I got them coming at me all angles Ever since they heard my music wanna tangle I could feel them try to grab me by the ankles I can hear them all start to say my name, oh But it's not about the money or the fame, no No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo Pop, pop, pop a couple shots and now I'm fucked up in the bathroom Got them going off and now they listen like a classroom Gotta top them off because I told them all they have to Always popping off the whole squad, gotta pass Gotta keep your head high through the hate if that, stays, if that stays like that, you have had him You have had him over a barrel <laughs> you winning? Yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna join my boy to sort out the mop the top. And there we go, my boy sorted me out again. Bully this man into coming into the gym with me. Bully him. There's bully him. In the way. Go bully him. His links here. Go bully him. Oh, you have to be the one now. And I wanna feel love, know you feel the same way We flip like a glove when we're sleeping late Ain't nobody gonna come in between us today You're the one I want and I'm willing to wait, yeah Keep your head up, don't let up We gon' make it through it, get up, take a breath, yeah Don't know what we're doing yet, but when I met ya I knew that I won't regret ya, I forget ya I said maybe So this is not a husky. That's a Malamut. And this is the face of an animal that is indifferent to humans. <laughs> is that my voice? Is that my voice? Oh well. I'm going to kill you! <laughs> yes, human. I can lick my own butthole. And you shall watch. Hello there, YouTube. Now I've only been on this world seven weeks, but I came out like a man. None of this baby facing. I'm ready to fight any one of you. I'll be here ready whenever you want to throw down. You get this, this one, and then this one. And I'd like to thank my sponsor, Super Milk. It helps me be super. You can too. So it's a beautiful summer's day here in Britain. Got Mark out, we're gonna have a great day. Went out, we got some food, had some fun, making the most of this summer day. I thought, what could we do to make this more fun? What you can do is you can put diesel in your motorbike. And then you can spend the entire rest of your Saturday draining a fuel tank with a bit of plastic you bought from a hardware store. Luckily, I have friends like Mark who has Tools, Basic and, tools and patience. So right now we're siphoning the turd into this, which converts it from turd into kaboom fuel. Then we'll hopefully get some kaboom fuel back in this and hopefully she'll start up again. Hopefully I haven't fucked Sarah Jane up completely. And if you're wondering why she has a white tank, that's because she has that leather cover on normally. I've had to take off the entire fuel cap. We've got it drained here. We've got all these are unbolted and unplugged, ready to lift that tank off. And underneath we have zero, and, and I can't stress this enough, 
zero, zero idea as to what we're doing. We're basically draining the tank, we're gonna pull it off, I'm gonna try and just clear as much fuel out as we can. Probably gonna be and then uh, get some petrol in and hopefully, hopefully she lives. Taking the piss now. <laughs> We're too out of food. I went to put the regular fuel in here. And I thought, no, let's treat her to some V power. And I should have gone this one, and dumbass picked up this one. So, we drank at least half a litre of diesel each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it tastes quite smooth. It's better than For, petrol. It's better than beer. <laughs> <laughs> got a tank back on, all the fairings back on, all the pipes hooked up. Now we're going to put the this one in it, unleaded. Let it sit for a bit and see if it'll start. <sighs> Come on then. Okay, thank you. See, silver linings. you got to turn everything into a positive. I might have done thousands of pounds worth of damage to a motorbike, but we've worked hard enough to earn ourselves some chocolate Lucas egg. And, mm. as yet, no firebomb. No firebomb. Yeah, it hasn't blown always up. Really always yeah. a bonus. Oh. This guy, dumbass. Can you, can you, can you? She lives! And a very big, huge thank you to this gentleman here, who literally, I saw him ride past, and a few minutes later, he appeared back just to come and help out a fellow biker. This is, this makes me feel good about humanity. She lives! Dickhead, do it yourself, dickhead. Wins again. I just, just all just take a moment to appreciate this. Stunning, stunning bike. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much again. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> I mean, Mark, but you always give me faith in humanity. Yeah, well, Came here, spent two hours with me. We drained the tank, we drank diesel. We learned some shit about bikes. We did. We also learned that there is nothing on YouTube about removing the tank of a CBR. F4i. If only we knew, a YouTuber. <laughs> if she lives, I'm going to get changed. We're going out for a meal and I'm yep. buying you a beer. <laughs>